Tech demo is hosted in GitHub. So let's get to the page. In this GitHub repository, we're going to have all the folders and files that we need in order to deploy Tech demo. This GitHub repository is maintained by different engineers from Tyke. Tyke demo has a full explanation and a readme file that explains how it works and how it's installed, as well as the different deployments, the repository structure, and some of the important environment variables. For example, one of them is the dashboard license, which is the one that is going to be giving you access to the possibility of deploying Tyke demo. Now, if we could keep scrolling down, we're going to see how to get started with the different dependencies that I already have installed, so I will not be installing it again, and also the hosts that need to be updated. Now, everything, as mentioned, is going to be run in a Docker environment. In order to bring the deployment up, you're going to need to use this command, and if you want to add different deployments, you just need to add the basic comment and some of the deployments that you would like to add. And then basically log into the dashboard. Everything is bootstrapped for you to have a seamless experience. And if you have any issues while bootstrapping or deploying, there's a log that is going to inform you. Now, let's get deployed. So the first thing that you need to do is go here and clone the repository. Now this is copied. All right, let me go now to my terminal in order to git clone this repository in my folder of choice. Click here. It is a fairly fast task in order to download everything. Now, in order to see what is inside and also in order to add my license, I'm going to go to my Visual Studio that we have open. And I see how my tech demo folder is here for my workspace. In here, I'm going to see different folders, um, the ones from the deployments. As I mentioned before, everything is bootstrap for you and with the different Docker Compose files per deployment. So if I'll go, for example, to the single sign-on one, I can see here my Docker Compose with the different configurations, JAM file. And then the other one important file that we have is the end file example that we have here. In here, I need to copy my license. So I do have a license here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it here. This will be my license. I need to change the name of the file for it to work. So I'm going to change this file name. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go back to my terminal. Actually, first, I'm going to save it. Right? I'm going to save the changes for it to work. I'm going to go back to my terminal. And in here, I'm going to go to my type demo um, folder. And here, I can use the commands that I saw before. And I'm actually going to be adding this SSL. Now, this deployment is going to be taking a little bit of time configuring the different plugins. So I'm going to be fast forwarding this part. If you're already in this step, you're going to be seeing how it is building some plugins from Go. So this will take a few minutes. When you do it for the first time, it, this will happen. Then once you, if you want to do a down or an up in, in order to change the different um, implementations and deployments, then this will already be done. So it will take a few minutes, a few seconds actually, in order to deploy it. Now this is finished, we can see uh, some of the access, well, information, username, passwords. Um, this one that you see here is for the single sign-on. Okay, you can hear here also the game points, the different examples. If I go up here, uh, there's other uh, dashboard, right? So there's also some information that you can utilize um, and other type of users and access. And here as well, the license expiration date, right? Uh, how many days you have remaining in order to use your license. So let's test it. Um, I'm going to be accessing, because I deploy with a single sign-on, I'm going to be accessing via the dashboard 
that is basically, or Okta is giving access to this dashboard with a single sign-on page. So let's open the browser. Let's log into localhost 3001. Here, as you saw, as we mentioned, we have the Okta single sign-on page. So I'm going to be taking the user and password. So let's get, for example, this one as administrator. I'm going to copy it. OK. And then we're going to use the password, which is fairly easy. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to sign in. Now, you're going to be having access to the dashboard with all the different capabilities and features. And as I mentioned before, there is things that are already being configured. So here you find some API examples as well, some analytics that were already provided in case you want to demo that. Um, and also different keys that are there already. So we're going to be seeing more about this for now. Thank you for watching.